Welcome to my channel. So I like to come in early as hell just so I can record the intro and the stenciling so please appreciate the effort. But since I come in super early it's still pretty dark outside so the whole shop looks dark and scary. And the echo doesn't make it any better. Hey yo, que hubo? Que transita por tus venas? I'm working on a full Star Wars leaf, and today I'm adding Darth Vader, so I'm excited. First thing is first, we gotta print this out. That might be a little too big, but you never know. You never know. And don't be scared to exaggerate your design. Print it out as big as you can. As I expected, it's way too big. Uh, I think it's gonna be enough with one single paper. All right. <clears throat> yep, this is it right here. So I did my stencil, I printed out my stencil, which is the perfect size, and now I gotta set up my setup. The setup is real. Some inkies. Man, I, I just put as much as, <clears throat> damn. I like to put as much as I can. Next, I like to separate my tones into groups. So here we go. This is gonna be solid black, solid black, and solid black. My medium tone, th this one's gonna be hard to explain because I'm just gonna see his skin and I'm gonna be like, right, I think you need 70% black, 40% white, or it might be 50-50, or it might be 40% black and 70% white. So for this one, I'm just gonna make it as light as I can. Might not even use it. 20% black and 80% white. For my needle selection, it's nothing new. If you watch all my videos, I, I use the same exact setup for my needles. A 27 mag, a seven round liner, a 14 round liner, this one, Every single session I use it. I cannot work without this needle. I'm also gonna use a 15 curve mag. This is my setup. Real quick before we continue. Make sure to comment down below what was your favorite part of this video. Best comment, I'm gonna sell you some money and I'm gonna buy you breakfast. Uh, last week's winner was Ruben. Thank you for commenting and subscribing. I appreciate it. I hope you had a good time with your daughter. So now, let's go! What you working on? So we got a, got a lion that's on his last healing. And we're about to do a rose right here to fill that in. <laughs> what are you working on, sir? Just a Medusa across the butt cheeks. Hello. How you doing? All right. It's been a while. You're gonna come back with that. Did you give me permission to put you on YouTube? You're gonna make fun of me because I don't come to work? No. I'm not gonna make fun of you. But you should come to work more often. <laughs> Give me a smile, Kenny. Give me a smile. Come on. Your best smile you have. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> My client's finally here and I can't wait to get started. Shoo! Let's get this day started, bro. Look at how white he is right here. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> white. This is gonna be crazy, bro. It's just gonna be insane. Yeah, yeah. I love, I like, love Star Wars since I was like, since I could remember. So like, I decided that I needed to get something like this. As I mentioned before in all my videos, I like to run my machine at 5.5 voltage with all my needles. I'm saying 27 mag, 14 round shader, and 3 round liner. It doesn't matter what it is, 5.5. This, the, the beginning of it hurt uh, like a lot, but like when we took breaks, like when we came back to it, it hurt like all over again. <laughs> Adding 
texture is one of the funnest things that I can do during a session. I mean, I every tattoo I do, I try to look for that one spot that has texture, just so I can, just so I can like neat, neat, neat. For this part of the tattoo, um, I decided to block in my solid blacks first, just so I can use it as a map and, and so it can let me know when to start blending it out to gray tones. So blending out from black all the way to your lightest gray tone can be a little complicated. It takes a lot of practice because you gotta keep dipping back and forth, you know. You gotta make sure you're dipping your black in the right amount of gray tones just so you can start blending it out slowly and you can see a smooth transition between the, the tones. The detail on it is insane. I love the little battle in the eye. That was a, like a great idea. I don't. I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video or in my setup, but I ended up using a three-round liner for the small detail in the eye because it was way too small. So I ended up pulling my smallest needle, which is a three-round liner. And yeah, I don't I don't think I mentioned that at all. But now you know. So after a long day of getting tattooed, I have this spray that's called Basicane that I like to spray on my clients so I can numb their skin. Because uh, I feel like adding white highlights can be painful and after a long day, everything is irritated and everything is just sore. So that is something I like to do for my clients. They never ask for it, I just provide it. <laughs> I just love how it blends in with like the first one. When when the rest of it's finished, it's gonna look like insane. Uh, I think this tattoo took about four hours, I believe, four to five hours. I'm really happy with it. I really like how everything turned out. I like how both tattoos blend in together so nicely. Leave a like, subscribe, share. I appreciate everyone who's still watching my videos. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next week.